Hello friends now and welcome to the Pirate Round. I be Captain Scottibus. This be the Scarlet Raven, and we're here with our extra special friend, the Captain Tarnar, who's come from the Southern Realms uh, and bringing us treasures that he's found by sailing all through the South and uh, encountering various lands and peoples. But before we get to some really interesting stuff like that, what we'll do is we'll have ourselves a toast. And we have ourselves a toast to start out every episode of the Pirate Round. And a special Pirate Round Red. And our special Jamaican Mountain Red that we've got here, poured from a crystal skull, mined it's, in the mountains of, of uh, Peru. It's got the blood of... And the blood, blood of the Inca in it, they say. Don't know if that's good or bad, but it's there. So, here you go. Now this is for friends we haven't met, friends who are not here, friends who we wish were here, and friends who have passed over. We say to you now, uh, we're thinking of you, and we care for you, and we wish you were here. Your heart, your heart. There you go. Hmm. 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 That sharp and smooth. No, oh, that burns the belly. I do. Now, Captain Turner, you've been gone quite a while, okay. and I uh, understand that you brought us some treasures there uh, from the south. Uh, you must have had uh, quite a few adventures. I, I did have some, some fine adventures. Now, I, I did bring some fine treasures, but I thought it would be interesting to take a look at something that I found when we boarded this old English naval ship. Oh. They, uh, they had their, their fine casks of rum, but what the crew got wasn't the fine casks of rum. This wow, look at this that. be no. the rum that they provide to their crew. It'd be called military special. Ah! Hi, military special. Some pictures on the front. I be having a pirate There's stuff a here. Pirate it's supposed to be fine pirate rum. Well, there be a ship, pirate ship, a parrot, a parrot, and a pistol. Aye, that'd be a flint, uh, flintlock. No, no, is that'd it? Be a, yeah. Is that a flintlock? Yeah, yeah sure. flintlock pistol. All right, now kids, and not that there are so many kids watching, but, but there kids, may be a few. There might be a few. Now kids, pictograms is how we learn how to say things in the pirate realm. Aye, that'd be true. Okay, so now in this bottle here. Who be that? It looks like Teach. It don't I, look like Teach. It looks like going to teach you something. Teach. You're going to teach you something now. What be that? It, look it looks like, like a, a uh, looks like a frigate, right? Frigate. frigate. Yeah. Well, we'll just call it a ship. We're going to teach you something to ship out. And what be that? But to be a parrot, it's going to be squawking. It'll be squawking <laughs> and be teach us some kind of parroty stuff. And that be a pistol. Which right. means you're going to shoot yourself after you drink right. this, I bet. Well, you may do so. <laughs> Pictograms. A little bit of foreshadowing there. Okay, now. Now you'll notice this comes in a fine plastic bottle. Well. Oh, and a fine <laughs> twist-off cap. Aye. It's like it's made Gold out of... Gold um, twist-off cap. It's like it's made out of jellyfish skin <laughs> there. Uh, it's clear and hard, but not like glass. Sort of flexible. You know, I saw nice, some of that uh, color. Nice urine color. Yeah, God, it's an interesting color there. <laughs> now, now, you might be trying to poison this now with your captain. I, I, or maybe it's the English. It, it, it may be English. English. And maybe they saw you coming and they decided to, to you know, what in the cast. It's, but it says fine West Indies rum, so this be fine. fine. Oh, it's going to be fine. fine then. It's going to be great. It can't be bad. It's be fine then. Built in pour. Now, this, this, I understand, you can't get just anywhere. You have to be going to the military stores to be buying this fine English. West Indies. So we be we be we be giving this to our finest soldiers and naval, <laughs> navy, I, air force and before or after they mutiny. <laughs> what you be giving them there? Oh, take a look at that. <laughs> it smells a bit like, uh, yeah, like something you'd rub on your wounds or something. It's like old wood, or like solvent, or, or yeah, so, like I, like a medicinal. Well, you know, we do use stuff like that to clean the barnacles off the anchor. Eh? It'd be good for that. Yeah. Something. Hmm. Not sure. <laughs> Not sure what I detect in that. It's kind of a funny, funny smell. It's, no, it's vaguely rum-like. No, <laughs> typically we, we we bring you rums that are you know that are fairly decent. Not yeah, always, but, right. but or sometimes <laughs> it'd be good to find. Sometimes what, uh, it's it's good to just to, to weigh it out against something that you don't that, be uh, want too much of this. It's not a, a bamboo or, or just fill her all the way up there. <laughs> yeah, you look at that color, there's... Well, there's um, not much there's, color there's to it, more. actually. Yeah. It's sort of like a little stain that got in there. Maybe it's from the glass itself. I'm not sure what. Oh, it's got a heavy, heavy, like heavy... Well, I'm not sure. Alcohol. alcohol. I, I smell alcohol. alcohol. I smell alcohol there. 
You know, it'd be something that I think the doctor may be rubbing on your shoulders Aye. when you're sore. That'd be what I think. Yeah. Okay. Mm, well, okay. whatever it is, folks. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. <laughs> Holy, my Neptune's iron rod, that's rough. Wow, I feel like somebody just chopped off my tongue because it Char burns. It burns up here and it burns down here. Oh, oh the tongue is still burning. <sighs> boy, now oh it boy. Burns, my gullet is burning. 40% alcohol, oh. it feels much hotter than Oh, it does. Goodness, that's hot. Oh. Well, you guys slammed that down and I took it just a sip. Well, of you know, <laughs> when you're taking 30 lashes, do you want to take one lash oh. a day or do you want to take them all day all at once? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Wow. Well, Captain Turner, I can't say I... that I've ever tasted too many things that taste like that. No, nor I. Um, military special. Military things. special. Fine. Fine West Indies rum. Imported. Imported from where do you they think? They don't say. Fine West Indies rum. Yeah. Imported from the yeah, yard. Imported from where? <laughs> from the outhouse. From, from the village. Yeah, from the village. <laughs> wow, it tasted salt I, water that tasted better than that. Some, some bad yard. Oh. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to think that this is probably the stuff you pour down into the villages to kill the barnacles that would be growing down there. Fine West Indies rum. There's some warnings on the back, too. Baltimore, Maryland. Well, no, I've been no. to Maryland, and they've got better rum there than oh. that. Oh, my God. My lip, it feels like, <laughs> like, you know, you go to the guy, and he dicks around in your teeth, and he's, he shot it up. That's what my lip now uh, feels like. I have to tongue. swish it around. It's, my tongue be like that. It's, no, it's gone numb. I'm going to be drooling all over myself now. <laughs> now, folks, I don't want you to look at these here pictograms <sighs> and get this idea that you're looking at something that be actual rum. No. Edward Teach, bless his black heart, is probably rolling in his <laughs> watery grave, <laughs> saying the fact that he's even on this picture. I Which, imagine quite a few pirates probably did have rum that tasted something like this. Oh, Which is it wasn't always they the mixed best. Other rum. things with it. I mix it with some lime juice That's and true. some water. I wouldn't um, even know if I'd want to give that to a to a party. Well, that's all we've got. <laughs> a bunch of a bunch uh, of Spaniards. We've got right. an old ship there. It looks like it's getting ready to careen over on its side, though. So it's probably getting it's, right. it's probably careening to the wind. At least three sheets to yeah. the wind. It's listing over back. Yeah, three, three sheets to the wind to drink that stuff. Yeah. And that'd be a rather nice picture of a of a parrot macaw. You'd probably you rip right, your yeah, face yeah. off if you macaw. I tell you what, you don't want to bring this in the house when you've got a bird like that. Though. They'll no. tear you apart with their claws. <laughs> Oh, and look then, at Polly, he's giving you the evil eye. Right. Now, last but least, we've got ourselves a pistol and a pirate map. Now, I do not sure what to say about it. If you find this being the treasure at the end of that map, that'd be a disappointing But treasure. I'd be very disappointed. <laughs> Bill G, what do you say? I don't think Bill G is, is appreciative of that, even though he's a Bill Trat. No, no, he's, <laughs> you know, no, he's not even approving of it. No, he's not. He's doing the I don't approve of it rat dance. I think he would rather drink his cheap Eclipso here. Yeah, he's be watering still. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's interesting. Actually, my eyes are watering too for some reason. Oh my gosh. It comes in a nice big 1.7 liter, 5 liters. <laughs> no, so I can, no, I can only yourself. imagine that when you when you took that English ship and they had this, that they were actually bringing it up and saying, here, take it from us, please, take it, take our treasures, take our trip, our ship, just get this stuff away just from get us. get this stuff <laughs> off. Hey. Holy. I oh. think they maybe were using it to fuel their lanterns. Yes, could be so. Could be so. Definitely stripping <laughs> paint off the lanterns. Boy, I don't know. But, you know, the only good thing about this, it comes with a nice grippy handle so you can throw it at somebody. God, oh, this is a good and if you've had a bit it. of it and you're feeling a bit seasick, you don't have to worry about dropping it, it won't break. That's true, that's true. Uh, which, br which brings well, us to the label. point of, could you stuff a rag in there and light it on fire and fling it from your ship to the deck of another ship? Government I, warning. I'd be surprised. Well, according, imagine you're surprised when it don't break to, and just rolls around on the other ship. <laughs> according to the general, <laughs> give this to pirates, for it will poison them. Aye. Women should not drink this beverage. Because women are precious to us, unless they be Anne and Mary. Right, that's true. Precious because and precious of the risk Mary. of drinking this, you <laughs> might find yourself falling overboard. Consumption, well, you'd be lucky if you did. Consumption <laughs> of this alcohol beverage impairs your ability to sail. <laughs> I could say that. Well, what I, happens if you end up or to operate, buried on some grave? Or to, or to operate a cutlass 
or a flintlock, which may cause health problems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> hey, health problems I've got with me flintlock. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think I see floaties in there too. <laughs> I do. Sea monkeys. <laughs> Well, maybe Barnacle those, shrimp. Maybe those just be bubbles, but there, there's definitely something floating around in there. <laughs> Barnacle <laughs> shrimp in there. That's how we oh, preserve them. I, believe I saw a tribe once fishing on the river, and they took a bottle of this, they poured it in the river, and all the fish went belly up. And they just went, Come up. <laughs> oh, that's a use for it. Casual tribe fishing. <laughs> well, now that. <laughs> Well, that brings us to how many cannon blasts we would give this here beverage. Oh, is there less than one? There's a half it's a, a blast. misfire. There's a, a misfire. <laughs> I'd give it a misfire on the cannon. I'd have to. You know, strangely enough, I think I'd give it one blast, and that's because I can think of many things to do with it, other than drink it, such as Aye. strip barnacles off the cannon, Aye. annoy your friends, poison, poison your enemies. Aye. Get rid of all the vermin aboard the ship. No, no thing to you, Bill G. Um, probably uh, preserve your dead friend to take him home for his mother. You could That's put his art in there, and you could say, as you knock on the door of a poor, broken down uh, cottage there in the northern uh, Scotland, and he'd say, "I miss McGillicuddy. I couldn't bring all of Jacques back, but I tell you, what his I head in here for you? I shrunk his head and his heart." And I brought it back in some fine military special. So you can you can drink. be burying him, but burying him in a proper burial, in this fine cask. Not that he enjoyed it much, but it comes with its own cask. It. If nothing else, <laughs> if you be boarded, you can always bribe them with a bottle of this fine rum. True. Before they open it up and taste it, True. come back and they sink your yeah. ship and kill all you. Well, you just hope they can't read. But <laughs> if they can't read, then they can. You can show them these pictures here. Right. Let's say ah. See, you can't the read there. Rum. Look, pirate ship. Parrot, pistol. By drinking this rum, oh. you're guaranteed to catch Teach with the f with uh, on on the ship, and and have a parrot, and your flintlock will always be loaded. I, I, that's true. There you go. Well, hey, hey boy, I got to see friends. With, it's, it's calling that rum, that's a stretch. That's a I stretch. Don't yeah. to get the taste down. That's true, boy. That's a stretch. You know. Oh. Mm. Cool. That's quite a topic of conversation there, Captain Turner. Hey. <laughs> Let's wash it down with this fine Jamaican red. And with that, it's about time to be ending this here. Well, okay then. So we'll end it. Hey. And we'll say to our friends now, thank you so much for tuning in. Stab that subscribe button with your cutlash. And we say to you now, friends, thanks so much. From all of us here at the Pirate Ground, we say our heart. And don't our forget the Northwest Pirate Fest, September 20th and 21st, North Green, Colorado. Yeah. Your heart. Much better. Ooh. You know about the stuff. I think I'm gonna puke me guts out. <laughs>
You know, like, <laughs> you know what gets me? It doesn't taste at it all doesn't like taste rum. anything like rum. <laughs> Not even <laughs> It's just like it's booze. It, it's where you're drinking Everclear. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, <laughs> it's 